Hey, Tristan here from SUVRVing.com, the blog, and SUVRVing, the book, which you can find on Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to go over the different privacy options um, that, I, uh, that I have in my SUV. And by that, I mean uh, things like curtains um, and other things to, to put in the windows to block out the light and to keep other people from looking in and seeing that I'm sleeping, uh, sleeping inside. So I use four different methods for um, giving me some privacy in my SUV. And the first is curtains, and I have curtains on the side windows, on the, on the rear side windows. And I'll show you how I um, have them set up here, first of all. Um, I didn't want to drill anything in my SUV, and I didn't want to use any Velcro. So what I ended up doing is taking this shock cord and tying it to the front um, grab handle, putting it across, tying one end to the uh, garment hook above the back seats, and then tying another piece going further along and anchoring that in the back here. I think this is for, um, for car seats or for another kind of seat belt. Maybe the, the far rear seat belts, which uh, I don't have, I don't have those far rear seats. But basically, it's just a carabiner acting as a hook. Uh, and it's anchored into this little slot that's on this side. And that keeps it taut, keeps this line taut, and keeps it in place. I travel with the curtains rolled up. These are made from just black ripstop nylon. You could also use real blackout fabric if, if you wanted. Here they are rolled up. They're just uh, held in place by Velcro. They're held rolled up with the Velcro. And now I will lower the curtain and show you what it's like with it down. So here's the curtain when it's down. And again, it's just held on to the cord with loops of Velcro, so I can easily remove it if I wanted to. Uh, if I have the windows down in the back, and if the wind is blowing, then that can kind of, sometimes that can move the curtain and make it, um, make it not cover the window all the way. And so to keep it in place, I'll sometimes use clips like this, just clipped on the bottom, to help weigh the curtain down, because it is pretty lightweight fabric. The second thing I do for privacy in the SUV is to use black poster board that I've cut to fit into the rear and the rear side windows. So this main piece goes into the rear window of the SUV. And those two smaller pieces, one goes in each of these rear side windows. So you can see now there's nothing in it. And now I've put, uh, put one of the inserts in the back there and it covers up the window. And from the outside, it just looks black. It just looks darkly tinted. The next thing I use is this uh, this curtain that I can put up and take down easily. Uh, this one is blackout fabric, actual real blackout fabric. You can see it's white on this side, black on the other side. The black side faces out, the white side faces in. And then at the top, I've got two pieces of Velcro. And each one of these goes around one of the front uh, grab loop things, the, the hand grips, and then, and then connects back onto itself.
And then sometimes I'll use, again, these clips to clip the front curtain to the side curtains to make sure there are no, no gaps in the, in the, where the light can come in. And then the final piece of the puzzle is this little folding windshield sunshade. Um, it folds up pretty small, and when I'm not using it, I keep it just in the in the side little slot of the door. And I put that here um, in the window in the front window sometimes, just to, to give me a little bit of extra privacy, uh, even when this front curtain is up, or to um, you know if it's hot, then it helps reflect the sun uh, out and away from the from heating the inside of the car too much. And uh, you can also turn this inside out so that the silver faces inside and the black other side faces out um, if you just want more of a um, a darker look from the outside. Mm -hmm.